Hello everyone, my name is Missy Fine Joseph. Welcome to another science class. And in today's class, I'm going to be looking at the topic heat and temperature. We're going to be looking at heat and temperature. And so many of us are familiar with this topic, heat. We know a lot about heat, about temperature and stuff like that. Things that generate heat around us. But so that means we're going to make today's class more exciting. So in today's class, we're going to be looking at heat, we're going to be looking at temperature, we're going to be looking at various sources of heat, the natural, the artificial. We're going to be looking at temperature scales and also learning about thermometers. So this class promises to be fun and exciting. So I hope you stay tuned and make sure you learn something new in today's class. So let's begin. Now I'm going to be starting by defining what heat is. Heat is a form of energy that flows from a warmer material to a colder one. Now heat is a type of energy. I will all know that energy is the ability to do work. Heat falls under that category. It's a type of energy that flows from a warmer material to a colder one. Now have we known the definition of heat? Let's look at what the definition of temperature is. Now temperature can be def is the difference between two objects and how heat flows. Temperature is simply a measurement of how hot or cold something is. If there is a difference in temperatures between two objects, heat flows. Temperature does deals with measure of how hot or cold something is. How hot something is or how freezing cold something is, it tells us about temperature. Now we want to look at heat, temperature, although they must sound alike, they are all talking about the same thing, hotness, warm, and stuff, but they are also extremely different. So let's look at some of these things that make them different from heat. Firstly, heat is a form of energy, while temperature is a form of measurement. Where heat is a form of energy, temperature is a form of measurement. Heat is measured in joules, while temperature is measured in what? Degrees. Heat depends on mass. Temperature doesn't depend on mass. Now, how the amount of heat an object that erase depends on the mass of the object. Larger materials tend to produce more heat than smaller materials. While for temperature, it doesn't depend on mass. It just depends on how hot or cold the stuff is. And when we measure heat in joules, we measure heat in what degrees. While heat is a form of energy, temperature is a form of what? Measurements. Now, let's look at sources of heat. Now, I want to start with the natural sources of heat. We have some th things that occur naturally in nature that produces heat. First of all, the sun. The sun is one major source that I'm very sure we are familiar with. When you stand under the sun, you can feel the heat that comes directly from the sun and how hot your body gets immediately. We have hot spray, volcano, and many more. We also have what um, artificial sources of heat. This is our air dryer, which we use most times to dry our hair. Ovos, which we use for cooking, they generate heat. We have hand dryers, which we use to dry our hands. So all these are artificial. Now let's look at how we can measure temperature. Like I said earlier on, temperature is a form of measurement. Now, since it's a form of measurement, we have to know how we can what, measure it. What are the tools we need to measure temperature? Now, the most common use to use to measure temperature is what the thermometers. Thermometers are used to measure temperatures, and temperatures are measured in degrees Celsius or degree Fahrenheit. We measure temperature in degrees Celsius or in degree Fahrenheit. Now, let's look at some types of thermometer we have we have the mercury thermometers the digital thermometers the infrared thermometers we have mercury thermometers digital thermometers and infrared thermometers mercury are those common glass thermometers that contain mercury inside for reading temperature digital are the most common ones we can find in the hospitals clinic pharmacies those are the ones that are digital that are also used to take temperatures so the next thing we're going to be looking at in today's class is temperature skills. Like we mentioned earlier, temperatures are measured in Celsius, degree C, Fahrenheit, degree F, or Kelvin. The most common ones in Celsius are Fahrenheit. Kelvin are musically used in scientific experiments and all. So we have three temperature skills listed here. Number one, Celsius. Number two, Fahrenheit. Number three, Kelvin. So, I hope we've learned something about heat and temperature today. I hope we can differentiate heat from temperature. And I hope we know the natural sources and the artificial sources of heat. I hope we'll be able to understand the tool we use to measure temperature and the various temperature scales we have. 
So that will bring us to the end of today's class. And I hope you had as much fun as I had teaching this topic to you. And I want you to look around you and identify other various sources of heat. It can be natural, it can be artificial. And just leave your answers in the comment section. I look forward to hearing from you. And I hope I see you all in our next class. Bye.